Today we're talking CH knives. I am going to show you my top five list of favorites. We'll get into what I like and what I don't of each one. Let's do this. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Now consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Most, if not all, CH knives are going to be available in two different versions. There's going to be premium and then you got the budget. The premium models, of course, are going to be more expensive because they have better materials like S35 VM blade steel, uh, titanium, or even carbon fiber scales, and it's going to have ceramic uh, ball bearings at the pivot instead of stainless steel. Usually, I'm I'm fine with the budget versions, which are going to have like D2 blades and G10 scales. Coming in at number five is going to be the CH3511. So what do I like about this? Well, there's a few things. I'm going to start with the well with the blade. This has to be one of the best looking drop points that CH makes. You get a nice long, lots of usable edge on this uh, 3.6 inch. D2 steel blade. Nice and thick four millimeter blade stock, so you know what that means. Yep, it is a big and heavy blade. So that closing action is, is excellent. There's plenty of room, you can see with my medium sized hands, there's plenty of room on the uh, four and a half inch handle. So you can pretty much grip this knife however your heart desires. The 3511 also has one of the best like blade to handle ratios. There are a few things that I, I don't like about this knife and the first one being that well this this big blade it is it's fairly easy for me to uh, to fail that that deployment. I'm not crazy about this uh, this handle design you know I don't know what they were going for here, but it just doesn't work for me. And these G10 scales, they feel they feel kind of, and, and the only way I can describe it is like chalky. The handle thickness, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wide at about 0 0.58 inches, and you notice, yeah, it's kind of a it's a kind of a blocky shape. Now the uh, jimping, you notice the jimping here on that uh, blade spine, not very useful at all. I would just rather that it probably wasn't there. And the pocket clip, it is going to be just the uh, one position. So what's that tip up? Righties? Yeah, no lefty love. And number four, we've got the CH3530. And I really like the first thing I want to talk about is the well, the multiple deployment options. I love just about any knife that that has it. So you can either use the flipper tab or the uh, thumb hole and you can see how easy it is to middle finger flick that bad boy open. Uh, you get a nice full flat ground blade which is good because it gives you a lot more room to uh, to be able to taper down to like a thinner finer edge. The handle is it's pretty comfortable and it's going to be because of the you can see like the grip it's got like a curved sort of like pistol grip kind of shape and because of the if you stare down the sights it does have like slightly contoured scales four and three quarters inches in length is this handle so that's going to be more than enough room to accommodate those of you with like the larger the larger hands i was able to widen I widened the sharpening choil on this into a really nice forward finger choil, but I only had to sacrifice just like a really, really small amount of sharpened edge. The action, did you notice that action? Oh my, yeah, the action is, is really, really good. And for as big of a knife as this is, it weighs just under four ounces that's impressive what don't i like well the i think that this handle the handle thickness yeah if you notice that i really think that this could have been 
a little bit thinner, you know, less than the 0 0.56 inches that it currently is, just because look at how thick like each G10 scale is. Yeah, if they were to just trim this down a little bit, I think that would have made a big difference. Now, this doesn't really bother me too much, but I know a lot of you really don't like when the scales, when they're not symmetrical. And that's exactly what's going on here with the 3530 because you notice the holes on one side and then nope, not on the other. It's gonna be a one position pocket clip, tip up for righties, nothing for lefties. And these, the edges of these scales, yeah, they have, they were not like chamfered at all. And it does kind of, even though, you know, they are slightly contoured, it just kind of gives it uh, sort of a, like a blocky look. And number three is going to be the CH3001. Now, this is a knife that I had actually, I found out about it from David over at uh, Blade Banter. Go check out his channel. I'll include a link. There's a few things that I like here. And first being, I love this, the length of the blade, 3.375 inches. I just think that that is, that's great for like an everyday carry knife. Now the handle, 4.125 inches in length, gives this probably the best blade to handle ratio out of all the knives that I'm gonna show you today. Titanium scales on this for $60, which I think is a, that's a great, value. Full flat ground uh, blade is also, this is the best slicer out of all the knives today. And, oh, wait till you see this action. It has the best action too. Watch this. Yeah, doing that right out of the box. Like one, like half a shake and it falls. The weight, very impressive at just under three ounces. A couple things that I don't like about it. Uh, now, this could be maybe just my own perception, but the knife, it like feels like super fragile. Kind of like it's made out of like, you remember those uh, as a kid, those like balsa wood airplanes where you, you crank the propeller and that, that rubber band winds up. It feels like it's made out of like that, that kind of uh, material. Uh, it is going to be just the one position pocket clip, so tip up righties, nothing for lefties. I'm noticing a, uh, a pattern here with the hat. And the last being the, the flipper tab. Yeah, I just, I don't really like, it's got kind of like a pointy design to it. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Man, we are already at number two, which is going to be the CH3504. This probably this has to be like the most popular and recognizable ch knife now i prefer the premium version of this because you're getting like the s35 vn blade steel and titanium scales for 100 dollars, and i think that that for the money that's that's an incredible value there is also if this is a little too large for you there is a mini version but that has os8 blade steel the other things that i like about this knife is going to be well that blade shape this is my absolute favorite blade shape out of all of the uh, ch knives i just i love it the action is excellent and i am um, unable to get this to fail on the deployment and i have been trying i can't do it and that's going to be because of the, well, the detent is very strong, you know, even though it's a big blade, not able to shake that out. And then did you notice the angle of this, uh, the flipper? So that just makes, oh, wow, for great deployment. And I love, I really do like the distressed kind of look of these titanium scales. Yeah, that skull, we got to talk about that. What don't I like? Well, I'm going to start with the weight because this thing, okay, get this, 5.46 ounces, which is going to be about 154 grams. That's, that's pretty heavy. 
I mean, even for a knife of this size, this also is going to have that one position uh, pocket clip, but yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a shallow carry, which I'm not uh, crazy about. The closed width, 1.45 inches across. So in your pocket, I just think that that that's, yes, it's under the one and a half inch of like threshold, but still I feel that this is pretty darn wide in the pocket. And finally, yeah, I mean, if you're into, uh, if you're into skulls on your, uh, you know, on your uh, knife handles, oh yeah, then hey, you're in business. But I am just, I'm not a fan. And the budget version does not have the skull on it, but you know, there's gonna be a compromise in a different area because the budget version has like th a thicker handle and it's gonna be, of course, the D2 blade instead of the S35BN. Before I show you my number one favorite CH knife, I do have an honorable mention that I need to talk about. And it's the, this is the CH2009 Nighthawk. Yeah, one of the few CH knives that actually has a name associated to it. Now I found out about this from a subscriber and man, I apologize, I don't remember which one of you told me about it. So hey, if you would sound off in the comment section, please. Uh, what I like about this knife, well, it ha features the uh, multiple deployment options. So yeah, you can use either that uh, flipper tab or the thumb hole. It has a really nice, look at that forward finger choil. That is really nice. And you have plenty of room on this 4.7 inch long handle. So those of you with larger hands, uh, should have no trouble at all. The fit and finish on this knife is excellent, which I was actually kind of surprised by because this, look at the handle. There, there's no, there's no seams. I mean, it makes it look like that it, it's all like, that this handle was carved out of a solid chunk of G10. A couple things I don't like, I'm gonna start with the blade. Now, this measures out to be about 3.6 inches in length, but you only get about 2.9 inches of actual usable sharpened edge. And because, well, you, you can see why. It's got this giant, like, oversized finger choil. Yeah, I mean, it's nice for the room, but I think it's just a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too big. Okay, are you ready to see my number one favorite? CH knife, it's going to be the CH3509. This, this knife checks off a lot of boxes for me. It just, it has many of my favorite features. The, you know, multiple deployment options. You can use the flipper tab or the thumb hole. Nested liners, keeps that, that handle thickness down to only about uh, 0.51 inches four millimeter thick blade stock, yet it is still like a really good slicer. And then of course, check out that tip, nice and robust. The action, very good, very good. I And it's difficult, boy, I can't even do it now, to get this to uh, fail on the deployment. What don't I like? Well, first thing being that I had to I actually had to use a rotary tool and I went ahead and I widened this. It was a, just a large like sharpening choil, but I widened it a little bit to turn it into a, to a finger choil. Now granted, I didn't have to remove very much material, but you know, I still had to do it. Uh, the flipper tab was also a little bit on the long side so that would mean, you know, not getting too much of that sharpened edge down when cutting on a flat surface. I also trimmed a little bit of uh, material away from that, that flipper tab. Now, I've shown you mine. Let's see yours. Let me know what does your top five uh, list of CH knives look like? And if you don't have five, hey, as many as you possibly can. Just let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you got any value from it, do me a favor and let me know by just leaving one of these. And don't forget to click on 
subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. You guys, take care. See you later.